Highway 1 should never have been built along this stretch of Highway 1. So, because we have that constant situation where we're always going to have these slides occurring, and eventually we're going to lose Highway 1, these tunnels needed to be built so we could bypass that area. My name is Ivan Ramirez, and I am a civil engineer with the State Department of Transportation working at the Devil's Slide Tunnel. Right here, we're located at the south portal of the excavation and the excavation right now is proceeding south to north. So these are the first tunnels that the Department of Transportation has built in the last 40 years. The last tunnel that was built was the third bore of the Caldecott Tunnel back in 1964. And uh, now, in, for the first time in 40 years, we're building these two tunnels and uh, we're using new tunneling methods and concepts. The tunneling method that we're using is called the New Austrian Tunneling Method, or sometimes it's called the Sequential Excavation Method. And what it does is that uh, the ground is categorized, and each category has a specific sequence of excavation and support. So in good, competent ground, the excavation is allowed to be longer before it gets supported. And when you have weaker ground, then we have shorter unsupported segments. When you create a cavity, the rock is going to want to support itself, and what we're doing, in essence, is helping it. So it's a very efficient and uh, cost-saving method. Well, we, we're basically using two methods of excavation. We have, we're using heavy equipment. We have a road header. Uh, it's actually brought over from Austria, and in essence, it's a very heavy machine that goes to the face, and it begins where a cutter head begins rotating, and it's got these peaks, uh, the tips of which are made out of carbide, and that will grind at the rock and uh, basically eat it away little by little with this heavy machine pushing against it. And, uh, and uh, the machine actually is very efficient in the sense that it has two aprons that collect the rock and pass it underneath it in a conveyor belt and dumps it into the back of the truck when it comes out in the back. In addition, if the rock is very hard, and, and we do have some very hard rock here, then we need to do some drill and blast, control blasting to break the rock and allow the excavation to proceed. My name is Matthew Gaffney. I'm an uh, engineering geologist for the uh, Department of Transportation, State of California. There's three faults in this tunnel, and we just call them fault A, B, and C, which is nothing special, but they separate uh, different style or types of rock. Um, those rocks are uh, um, granodiorite, which is the first section which we have already gone through. Um, and then we hit fault A. We got to fault B, and past fault B was sandstones and conglomerates. Um, and now we just passed fault C a couple hundred meters ago, and now we're in um, what we call an interbedded siltstone, sandstone, and claystone. And um, that's probably the weakest rock we have. The sandstone's conglomerate in this middle section of the tunnel is probably the hardest, so um, that was a little tougher to excavate, but now we're in the softer stuff, so it's a little bit easier to excavate, but you have more support for that. Underground, you get to go in and, and you know and they take off a layer of rock and you get to see a rock that nobody's seen in millions and millions of years. As a rock geek, yeah, it's kind of cool. Uh, the biggest challenge that, that has occurred here is that the ground has uh, varied more than we thought it would. We expected some segments where or some stretches of tunnel where the ground was going to be consistent and we have had to uh, adapt more than what was expected and, and that is always a challenge because you have to be constantly observing the ground and you can never really rest and be complacent because at any one particular excavating ground you might find different rock. We are making good progress. Uh, we haven't done this in 40 years so we're learning as we go as an organization and to me it couldn't be a bigger reward than that. We'll never have to close Highway 1 ever again because we have that slide. With this project here, we're going to be solving that problem forever. <laughs>